Hello, my friends. Written by Murphy, back here to talk to you about the moment of wonder that I'm having today. I wanted to tell you what's on my mind. It's been a very busy day. It's crazy and all the things, right? Now, I've been coming in and talking for a couple times, but I've talked about this and that. But the reason, one of the reasons I started doing this, wait, I forgot. If you're listening live, please let me know. Type live in the comments. Or if you got the replay, please type replay so I can engage with you. All right. So now that we got that out of the way, I really want to have this conversation. One of the reasons I started doing this live videos is because I want to talk about what I'm thinking about. And I really want to talk about books, you guys. So yesterday, no. This morning, I finished reading Eleanor Oliphant is Completely Fine. I did not expect, oh, hello, Raymond. I haven't heard from you in a while. Um, I haven't, I've been hearing about this book for a while. And when I first started reading it, I did what I do. And I was complaining to my husband, oh my gosh, this seems very, very predictable, blah, blah, blah. And then, oh no, we finally clicked up on the, the downslide and we were on we were on the road and so I couldn't put it down. I was glad to have read that book because I was in a weird place. I couldn't decide which book to read. Books are incredibly important to me and I had like four books that I'd started but they weren't really taken off. So I don't know, this one came up and and I super enjoyed it and now I'm back in the love of books. I also just finished an audiobook because I like to have two or three audiobooks at the same time as I'm reading print books. So I also just finished an audiobook that I got from the library just because I wanted something that was lighter. I've been reading some heavy stuff, and I kind of like heavy stuff because it keeps me company, but I wanted something that didn't take my attention. So I just, I had started to read um, Amy Poehler's, uh, I think Girl with the Back Tattoo, I think she had it, but immediately I'm like, oh no, that is not what I want. This I I knew nothing about Amy Poehler, but she was a comedian. But I'm like, oh, this is not my kind of humor. So I ditched that, and I was feeling kind of bummed that I'd wasted a couple minutes on that, and moved on to the next book that just kind of popped up in the library feed called Scrappy Little Nobody. It was by an actress, uh, Anna Kendricks. Don't know anything about her, but it was an interesting listen. And this is super important to me. I read and so I have a definite sense of what the book should be like. One of the things in Eleanor Oliphant is she is supposed to be kind of self, she had kind of raised herself and she was also a big reader and it talked about how she chose books and that's one of the things in Eleanor Oliphant that I'm like, uh-uh, no, that's wrong. The way she chose books, I'm like, that's not how a reader chooses books. I didn't believe that. One of the things that I do, because I'm very autodidact, I have taught myself. Um, I didn't take a real literature class until I was 23. So I had to learn how to teach myself what to read and what to enjoy. So when I read books, I don't have many expectations. I just want something out of it, but I've learned how to do it. And one of the ways that as a child, I learned how to read because, you know, I wasn't really uh, given direction on what to read. But um, one of the ways I figured out what to read was by looking at what the people in the books were reading. So um, I picked up Ivanhoe because Little Women, what's her name? The oldest girl in Little Woman was reading Ivanhoe. And I went and read it. I'm like, wow, this is very different. I wouldn't have found this otherwise. In any case, right now, I've been getting my daughter books to read. She is not like me. She likes to read, she likes to reread the series that she's into. She's into the Warrior series and by Erin Hunter, and uh, it's a ch children's book. I find it very difficult to read because the prose is really clunky and I know I know I shouldn't be I shouldn't be I judge myself harshly for judging this writing but it's really clunky so I'm like I just can't read it I the all the cats that it's peopled by cats and all the cats 
meow and purr and yowl instead of speaking. The cats don't say anything. They purr, they're meow, they're yowl. I'm like, oh, I can't do this. But she loves them, great, she loves them. But I've been trying to introduce her to more um, children's literature. I recently introduced her to The Witch of Blackbird Pond, which she loved, she really liked it. She liked how um, she would say, mommy! Um, uh, what's her name? Judith is in love with John Holbrook. There you go when you have to outburst like that. So good. So I'm like, okay, it's time to introduce you to some of the better ones, right? So I found, um, I got a copy of The Phantom Tollbooth. And I think I'm going to reread that one. I reread The Witch of Blackbird Pond. It was so good. Yeah. I like to reread kids' books. It's so nice just to revisit ones. I tend not to reread books, but kids' books are short enough. And it's this experience I want to have. I want to have somebody keeping me company. That's what I got out of the um, book, Scrappy Little Nobody, with, uh, I'm like, I don't know who this actress is, and she wrote a book. But it's just like somebody talking to you while you're taking a long trip. So I have that going while I'm running through my work, my inbox, and all the stuff I have to do at work. I just have somebody telling me stories about their life. I'm like, that's what I wanted. That's exactly what I wanted. Sometimes when I have a little more sleep, I'm interested in learning something. So I'd love to read some more or listen to some more Atul Gawande or uh, Malcolm Gladwell or some other author that's got something to say to me. That's great. But uh, books are really important to me and I actually want to start more conversation about this. So this is my moment of wonder. Today I'm sort of swimming in the joy of having finished two books. And that feels, feels really good. It feels very satisfying, like a really good meal, frankly. So this was a ramble, not a very organized conversation. But I wanted to introduce that books are really important to me and I plan to talk about it more and pop in and tell you, do like the, the live talk about what I'm reading in the middle of when I'm reading it. It's one thing to talk about a book after the end of it, but it's another thing to say like, this is how I'm feeling in the middle of the book. And I like that feeling too. So this is my uh, pop in to talk about books and how I'll be talking more about books. Oh, one other thing. Of course I've read books my whole life, but after I have written my own book, I was able to approach what was provided in literature differently, a lot more like, well, I could, I've, I've done that. So I have a, a solid standing on which to critique and say, well, this is what I would prefer to have in this book. This is how the author should have done this. And I didn't do that before, but now I'm like, oh, now I can actually be like, yeah, actually, I know what I'm, I've done this, I know what this is about. And um, that has actually added to my appreciation. It's given me a different standing in how I approach the books, but it's made me like savor it more instead of just taking what I'm given. I'd be like, yeah, who is this character? And what are they like? And what's happening in the world with this? So it was a long talk, guys, but I look forward to hearing your impressions if you want to share with me what books you're reading. Oh yeah, tell me what books you're reading and what books you recommend or what books we should avoid. Huh, yeah, I could definitely tell you some of those. To be fair, you gotta, you gotta follow your own heart about what's good. But that's what I'm doing today, guys, and I hope you enjoy your evening and have a great Thursday night. Bye.